Hello everyone, this is going to be a video response to Hammock Hanging How To Part 3 by Woo Buddy Videos. That would be Suge, a man who likes to talk about himself in the third person. It was an eight, and then I think it was a nine, and I think he finally ended up as a ten part series on how to hang in a hammock in the wilderness. And we think he gave us a brilliant idea for how to hang the amazing hammock chair. Might be a little high. This is uh, spring bug season. We've got an amazing amount of bugs here today. There we go. Now we decided to call this the tree friendly suspension system, but as you're going to find out, it's also a user friendly suspension system, with one exception. This loop of rope is tied with a prosic knot. So what we're going to do is show you a quick video of how we're tying this knot. So after we've threaded the rope through the end of the bag, we form the loop of rope to replace the whoopee sling by tying a three-wrap prosic, just like this. We've got quarter-inch nylon diamond braid rope running through both ends of the hammock chair. And that is attached to this. This is what they call the marlin spike hitch. But in this case, we're using a piece of maple for the spike, so we're gonna call it the maple spike hitch. You could also make it poplar, oak, you get the idea. Now, Shug does a really good job of showing us how to tie the marlin spike hitch, but we'll just do it again here for you. You grab your tree-friendly strap, you make a loop like that, Make sure the strap is going off this way, and then fold it up. Grab the strap that you see through the hole, pull it through. Now my finger's there, as you can see, and we slide in, in this case, a maple spike and pull it tight. And of course, Suge's safety tip is worth repeating. Make sure the rope goes over the knot not over the spike. Over the knot, not over the spike. And that runs up the webbing, which is connected to the tree using a simple spring clip. Now you can put this tree-friendly suspension system together for about two dollars. You start off by using utility or luggage straps. There's two straps in here, six feet each. All you have to do is take them apart and you've got the strapping you need for a dollar. And we have suspended ourselves using dollar store spring clips. Now, this should come with a warning. They are not for climbing and the warning on the back does tell us not to use these to support human weight. So if you try it, you're on your own but it works for us. Just give it a quick test here. Show you how strong this system is. We'll swing. Oh yeah, baby. Everything's holding. Brilliant. And when it comes time to take it down, it 
it's a cinch. Take it off the toggle. Slide out your toggle. No knot. And you're down. Done. Amazing. So please use this inexpensive, user-friendly suspension system whenever you need to hang in the forest. And thanks for watching. And thank you, Shug, and Grizz, and the Professor, and Marlin, and Whoopi, and everybody at the Hammock Forums. Great idea. Hello everyone, this is a video response to Hangic, Hammock Hanging How To Part 3. We can do that. That would be Suge, a man who likes to talk to himself. That would be Suge, a man who likes to talk to himself. That would be Suge, a man who likes to talk to himself in the third person. This is going to be a video response to how to hamming blah blah blah.